I hit every shot. I score every time. Frankly, me and winning couldn't be more intertwined. Bring your dog to the table, put it on the line. On a mission, gone fishing. I think I caught a vibe. Oh, that's just, that's just how I do. That's just how I do. That's just, that's just how I do. I go hard. All right, so we are back with another training session. Today is a push day um, created by yours truly, Jared. <laughs> um, today we will be using, well, I'll be using for the first time, what is it, the camera bar? Camera bar, yeah. The camera bar, never done it. I normally don't flat bench anymore, so, well, fuck it. We're going to try it, see how it works, see if I like it. Um, so, yeah, this will be the first push session of this type of training that you guys will see. Um, like I said, it's, you know, this training's been going really well so far, so um, I'm looking forward to hitting this movement in particular um, and progressing on it as much as I possibly can. So, really. Yeah, I'm excited, man. Let's get it. Be a good session. And that's it, baby. Time to work. <laughs> All right, Mike. This exercise is no joke. Okay. Deep fresh. Big chest. Yes, sir. Good. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Good stuff, good stuff. Rack. Oh. <laughs> Cables. Fuck. What kind of fly do you normally do? Huh? What do you normally do, like flies wise? Something like this? Yeah. That yeah. or. Um, I would take like the seat like that. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. <laughs> I got a pump. I got a pump. <laughs> yeah, camera bench. Guys about to take our shit. Seven to ten for you is fine. You should probably do seven to ten for Massey. Can you get a lift? Yep, yep. Ready? One, two, three. Oh yeah, Nick. <clears throat> Strong. That was good. <clears throat> Lift? No? Okay. Oh. <sighs> 
What do you think? Three or a quarter? My top sets will be two and a quarter, just because I'm dieting. Oh yeah. Um, you might be able to do three. If you want to hit 275 first and then three? Yeah. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Oh, yeah. Seven to ten, what do you think? tried this yeah yeah smart yeah new exercise yeah we won't make the play it safe first time ever using exercise play it safe that applies to many things in this world consider I don't flat bench I don't want to push my luck here you like the stretch it's deep it's deep as fuck <laughs> deep as fuck <laughs> Uh, so that was your potentiation then? I'll go ahead and do like one or two and then you can go into your working set. Yeah. Hell yeah! You good? Huh. Alright Nick, let's go. Ready? One, two, Hold that deep stretch for a second. Falls right at the peak of the chest. Up. Oh, fuck yeah, Nick. Yep. Oh. Yep. One more. Come on, Nick. Hell yeah. Yeah. Good RIR too. About two there. Yeah. A little spank this next week. <laughs> right. This feels good. Good, man. Yeah, anytime like we're in week one, two, whatever. Anytime you don't like, you can always just scratch it, yeah. switch it. Doesn't matter to me. You, like I said, you. You have a good feel. You know what exercises you really like. Of course. That you connect with. If we can just modify one or two things even, just to make yeah. it even better for you. Like, fuck this, let's do it. <clears throat> let's go, baby. Yes. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> you notice that like, I'm keeping up with Nick. He's just not used to these. One, this exercise, two, these super deep ranges of motion. In like two weeks, he'll be doing 50 pounds more than me on everything. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel like you get kind of more amped up when you're like peak off season and you know it's like time to put in the work so you can build a bunch of muscle? 
Or do you got to kind of go to more like psychologically dark places when you're in prep? I, I'd say I get more amped. During prep? Yeah. Off season's fun. I think like I love the rebound, right? So if I could do like a, a 10 week rebound where I can pack on as much as I can. Yeah. And then maybe do like a four week relax, chill. Just maintenance period. And then go into a prep. That's actually like. I would probably be, when you do like a long off season, you, you die. You're like, I don't fucking care anymore. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like. Just stuff. It gets Cause tough. you gotta carry all this weight. You're training. In my opinion, your, your training will start to suffer a little bit because the lack of motivation. It can. And you're like, I just want to start prep. And then when prep finally starts, you're still not in that right headspace yet. So it takes a few weeks and then it starts to kick in. Mm. But if I could do like a longer rebound, mm -hmm. chill for a few weeks yeah. and then go. You're actually just like intuitively doing like a sports science periodization where, so anytime I have myself or a client prep, it's off season. Oh massing and then maintenance and that's maintenance everything like maintenance farm yeah. maintenance calories maintenance training where you're coming in and like two sets per body part per yeah. session some real low volume yep. which actually resensitizes you for a long prep yeah so you're just like intuitively doing that already i think it's smart which is fucking awesome yep i think it's very smart because yeah. it's and that's kind of what it's going to be like for the limb yeah i mean I'm, yeah there's not much of an off season so it's kind of like you probably got a good 10 to 15 weeks or so. Yeah. Well, we're gonna make the most of it. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, this should be one. We have to play with this for a bit to figure out for how big your fucking arms are, you know? I know. Two, two six. Ah, uh, I could use this a quarter or plate. Uh, I'm likely gonna use this. Um, is it set for my working weight? Probably. I'm gonna. If you want to? What, how many reps are we trying to hit? I'm trying to do anywhere from ten to twenty. I'll probably aim for the higher end of that. If you want to, uh, I might stay here then. Okay. Yeah. Do it. I would say like midway between the two variations you just did will probably be the best bang for your buck, stimulus wise. If you can like coach your like your chin while fighting your elbows in as much as possible, really try to fight your elbows towards each other if you can. Yeah. Feel free to go that way just a tad if you need to. There you go. Yep. There you go. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Full lockout, all the way up. <clears throat> good stretch, good stretch. Full lockout. <clears throat> Make it forceful. Come on, Nick. Push, 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 push. Good shit. <laughs> That's stung. I'll stay there. That was good. So, basically, like, similar to that, I'm pushing my elbows behind my body and trying to touch my elbows behind, coming out a little bit, and then down the body like this. So the whole time, you're fighting the elbows behind you okay. instead of doing this. Yeah. This is easy. That's how I do it. Yeah. <laughs> I could load the whole goddamn stack and do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, okay. see how that feels. It's a deep fucking stretch. That's definitely light. That's all right, I won't feel it. 
So keep it super close to your body. And then press down the body, all the way down the body. And as you're coming up, you're trying to push your elbows back to stretch the full tricep. There you go. Yep, fight the elbows in and back, in and back. Almost like you're trying to touch them together behind you. Yes. Good, Nick. Yeah. I feel them. Yeah, Good shit. Good shit. <laughs> Fuck, man. <laughs> it's going to be tough. That's when we mile rep match. This is. Oh, this one is? <laughs> that mile rep shit. They're rough. Yeah. Back this way. The body. On the way up, close to the body. There it is. Step forward, step tap. Almost a half step forward, just to keep this super close to the body. In. And then as you're coming up, the elbows go back, back, down. Stretch back. Back, down, every rep. Elbows towards each other and back. There it is, Nick. Good stuff. Good stuff. Full lockouts. All the way down. Yes. Back, back, back. Big part. Stress the fuck out of that tricep. Back, 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 back. Yes, sir. Again, come on. Back, back. I know it's fucking painful. Make it work. Back. Yes, Nick. Great stretch at the top. Beautiful stuff, man. Come on. Keep it up. <laughs> How many was that? 15. Mario at 15. Fuck. Should have stopped at 10. <laughs> You're going to start learning the, the tricks of the trade. I know. To fool me. Fight. Ah, I train with Mike yeah. all the Who? time. Mike. Oh. Dr. Mike. And he is the worst about RIR. Really? I'm always giving him shit. I'm like, you had like eight more, dude. And he'll like make it look hard. And I'm like, bullshit. <laughs> you fake it. <laughs> so now me and Scott, our camera guy, we all give him shit. I love it. Come on. Hell yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, just a way better stretch for the tricep. Like, does your tricep stretch more here or here? It's kind of just common sense to me. I don't know. <laughs> Most people like. Well, even, I mean, I get what you're saying, but even when I go like this, I would think that's right. still, you know? Yeah. But you feel, you definitely feel the difference. You can try to like almost arch out in front of you, okay. make room for your elbows. So yeah, bring it forward, up, and like push this in. Yeah, yeah, like you're super needing, super hard at the top, basically. And just here, down from there. There you go. Deep stretch. Oh yeah, Nick. Full stretch. Full deep stretch from right there. Don't let the elbows go back. Full, 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 full. Yes. In. Elbows in. Elbows in. Yes, sir. Deep, Nick. In. Elbows in. Squeeze. Come on. 
Full stretch. Elbows in, elbows in, elbows in. Again, Nick. Again. Again. Deep stretch, deep stretch. Up. Oh. Oh, fuck. That one got me. <laughs> so this is uh, one of my favorite exercises to do the mile reps on. I see. So it'll be, we'll have it in yeah. at some point. That was, that got me. <laughs> fuck. Yeah, it's actually funny. There's a huge, people see us curling like this. And they're like, that's front delts at the top. What are you doing? I'm like, dude, your bicep has a function of literal flexion right there. It's like, that's part of the actual movement. Yeah. That's why you feel that huge squeeze at the top yeah. when you go like this. I might go lower to be honest. I could get a little higher up. Yeah, if you want to. Yeah, that cut me. That's a different, this is all different. Mm -hmm. But you feel it more. At the end of the day, that's what it's about. That's good control, baby. Hell yeah. He did more than me. He's like Matt Jansen. Skinny, but strong. <laughs> Skinny for an open guy. <laughs> I love it. See, that was the thing. Matt, Matt's got like that hidden fucking strength, bro. Yeah. He used to outwork me on a lot of shit. And I'm like, you motherfucker. <laughs> like I said, man, you're, when you get really used to these deeper ranges of motion, working the joint through its full rom. Oh yeah. You'll just blow up. Like my, my, You'll be I, doing 50 pounds more than me. My biceps are already. Oh yeah. 10 pounders. Good. Oh yeah, Nick. Oh yeah. Great stretch. Fully extend that bicep. Yep. Try to lower from right here. Start lowering now. There you go. Yep, fight that right elbow in on the way up. Fight it in, fight, squeeze, squeeze. Three to four more, Nick. One. Full extension. Two. Keep the elbows in on the way down. Fight, 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 fight. Good. Oh, man. <laughs> I like those. Hell yeah, man.
Come on! <laughs> Come on, Jared. Yeah. <sighs> oh, motherfucker. Oh. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, you probably do just 30, so 35. Oh my fucking god, dude. I'm gonna go there again. Oh yeah, Nick. Same concept as easy curls. Lots of tension through this part here. As you come up, lots of tension here. There you go. Deep stretch, Nick. Deep stretch, deep stretch, deep stretch. Shoulder back, deep stretch. Yes, yes. Come on. Yes, great stretch. Come on, Nick. Yeah. Come on, get it up there. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. No bullshit with the shoulder. I'm gonna help you on this one. Just use the bicep. Bicep, 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 bicep. Nice and slow on the way down. Good. Ooh. Good stuff. Come on, Nick. Yes. Oh yeah. Shoulder back, full stretch. There you go, there you go. Yeah, let's go. Come on, Nick. Deep stretch, shoulder back, deep stretch, deep stretch, deep stretch. All bicep, do not swing. Do not swing. Yes. One more. Deep stretch, deep stretch. 
Bicep, 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 bicep. Good shit, dude. Good shit. <clears throat> Woo! Mm -hmm. Let's check the sheet. All right, so that was the chest and bicep, or chest and arms workout. Another push, uh, push session. Um, so first time me doing the camera bar. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Could not go as heavy as normal as a regular bench, um, which is to be expected um, since we was more emphasizing on the getting a deep stretch with a slight pause. Um, but I actually like that better than a regular bench. So, Nick, um, whenever you train, do you normally uh, pre-exhaust, especially for muscle groups that are really strong, like your legs and your chest? I do. Kind of how we did the cable for the, fly first? For the most part. So that's generally how you set up your training anyway. Yeah, I, I oh, yeah, feel good. when I start with a pre-exhaust, even if it is what was a weaker body part, mm -hmm. whenever I got to the heavier movements, I felt I could connect better. Okay, hell yeah, good. So, kind of felt that way today too? Yeah. Good shit. Yeah, so overall, the, um, that was good. I liked it. Um, especially he taught me new techniques for the triceps and the biceps, which um, I actually lowered some of the sets. I took some sets out just because it was the first time doing it. And the execution was perfect, so I didn't want to overdo the volume today with it. So normally what was it, three sets? We took it down to two? Yeah. Yeah. So I thought that was my, during this type of training, I'm really trying to figure out how much I can get with the least amount of volume before just drastically increasing dramatically. Um, so I, my arms are actually already sore. So <laughs> I, I think I made the, the right call. Um, so yeah, that was a good workout. Um, already progressing, which I'm very happy about. Um, food has been upped a lot too. Um, so it'll allow me to recover a little faster. Um, so yeah, that's anything you wanna right, add? Man. No, that was a great session, dude. Like I said, you're intuitively just so damn good at most of these cues already. And like you, saying, okay, let's cap that at two sets. It's working with a lot, I've worked with a lot of pros and stuff in the past, or just people who like are on their way to like pro cards. Mm -hmm. It's the complete opposite. It's really? like all ego yeah. and no chill. And it's just cool to see someone of your caliber, like, oh, for I sure. know I need to cap it right here. This oh, is gonna sure. be good. I, w so I was like that neat. when I was younger, yeah. obviously. I think <laughs> it's, it's the hype, right? It's 100%. the excitement. But once, you know, like we, we talked about, I, I've been, trying to pay attention a lot to uh, my body and what it needs and when to stop and doing this type of training following the app and how we're doing things i really have to be really in tune with the volume and everything oh, yeah. else and i and with the the type of training it is too with the slow very slow eccentrics pausing full range of motion you can get away with like what we're doing with not taking every set to the ultimate failure leaving reps in the tank not doing 40 sets and it, you'll just be better off. Yeah. And it's more frequency, which is something I like as well. Yeah. Because honestly, if we did like what we did today for chest and that was it mm -hmm. <laughs> for the week. You'd be like, all right. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> 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 but now we, we'll hit it again in like another three days. Yeah. So it just, it just makes sense. Yeah, and so total sets over the week are still very similar. Yes, they're just, just spread way out. Way more effective because you're actually able to focus on each set. Yes, full range of motion. And that's and like I said, in, you know, in the, in the last video, which it will be posted, it's very important to pay attention to the rest periods, um, to make sure that you're getting the most out of the sets within the reps, and that's you know I think that is very important moving forward within this training. So, yeah. I'm I'm happy. I think we're killing it. We're gonna yeah, keep man. killing it. Um, All the improvements on both ends. We're in. I'm getting yeah. my ass kicked too, man. You're pushing me. I love it. Well, that's that's a good thing, you know. It's like he has his own thing. He's he's close to a show, so I didn't want to, you know, come and come and fuck his routine up by any means. Um, but he's very chill. He's very laid back, and we just, you know, we work together, and it benefits him, benefits me, and it's, it's a good duo. So Damn, you'll be seeing a lot of this shit, yeah, and that's it. <laughs>